yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. All right, today, Versace Eros EDP, the older parfum version. Let's check it out. All right, so you guys know, no, no, I love the support, okay? You guys have been showing me some love. I appreciate you guys, but uh, if you guys want to support this channel, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and uh, put $20 in the envelope. Put a stamp on it, send it to your boy. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all just drop me a like. It's all good. I appreciate it. It's free. Thank you. All right. We're going to talk about this uh, very hyped up, very popular Versace Eros. Okay. We're going to talk about how it smells, how it performs, and uh, should you spend your coins on this. This is just a quick first impression. So this is one of the latest creations from Versace, from the Eros line. You know, I know some of you guys want to know right off the bat. Is this too sweet? It, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's not too sweet. You know, when I think of something sweet and, you know, I'm thinking of too sweet, I'm something from Terry Mugler. He's dropping some of those Amen, like, uh, or Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. That's like super, like, sappy, sticky sweet. This is not that. This is cool. So if you smell the EDT, the Eau de Toilette version of this, you know that it's really loud and it projects really well, super complimented, um, highly talked about, you know, you see it everywhere. This is the Eau de Parfum version of it. A lot of people say this is the more mature, version of it it is definitely more refined i would say um it's definitely not as as poppy and bright and and, and loud in your face as the edt is but to make no mistake this is versace arrows even though it says parfum this it's the same thing pretty much i mean you're about 20 percent difference i would say so you know i spread these in the store side by side you know on the texture strip and that's what I was getting. I was getting a little bit more zing, more like a green apple. Or the citrus in the EDT is definitely, is, is brighter. You know, this is this is smoother. Now, if you want bright, you want a lot of attention, you want everybody to, you know, say, ooh, you, know, you smell good, what's up? This is, you're gonna get that same thing here, but it's just not gonna be as loud. It's gonna be a little bit more refined. Um, and supposedly the, the EDT concentration has been reformulated. I don't know anything about that. You know, if you want to check that out, there's plenty of reviews on that. But this one came out in 2020, so a couple years ago. The note breakdown is candy apple. You hear candy apple, you're thinking like super sweet, super sweet. Nah, this is just going to be overall mass appealing fragrance. You're definitely going to get a lot of compliments out of this one. But the sweetness, um, you're getting that from the apple note. You're getting that from the minty note. If I could describe it, just a uh, soft, sweet mint that's what the scent is like you know even the performance of this the scent it's like a soft cushy airy uh puffy type scent and as far as the citrus is one of the the notes also listed is on for granted because it says lemon I don't, I don't know who's putting that stuff up there or who's telling them what but to my nose i don't really picked up too much lemon if i did it's going to be like limoncello not that bright zesty zingy in your face lemon as you start to dry down in this fragrance you you have sandalwood and some of the base notes and that's probably the other dominant thing so what is the profile of this fragrance creamy soft minty vibe with sandalwood there you go boom there's some embroxin in here too some geranium flowers and things like that it's it's not floral the smooth pleasant scent that uh is is mass appealing and i think everybody's so used to uh this type of dna to me is more unique and if you overspray it it's gonna get nasty and then it's gonna go from getting you compliments to get you like looked at like mm, get them out of here get them out of here this is a cool puffy vanilla cadillac with uh suede seats kind of a scent you know you know it, it moves slow but it, but it has a lot of body, a lot of presence. As far as a compliment, you're getting complimented on this, you're getting a lot of attention, but this is very casual. This is the guy that's leaning up against the wall. You know, he's sitting back, he's chilling a little bit. He, he, he letting the compliments come to him. And then the EDT, you know, since we're making this club reference, is the dude on the dance floor, you know what I'm saying? Hitting his little his little moves and whatnot, you know? And he out there, he wanna, hey, hey, what's up? I wanna wear this one. I'm gonna say spring is gonna be a good choice for this one. Summer night, 
you know, this is a casual scent, maybe a date night scent or something like that. It's gonna work really well for you. I would give this about an eight out of a 10 overall. I'm thinking about four or five sprays max on your skin. So the cost for this one is about 80 to $90 for this 100 mil EDP. Um, the EDT for the 100 mil, you're looking at around about 66 bucks. And then you can even get the 200 mil for $85. So, you know, if you're gonna decide between the two, I would go ahead and get my nose on it in person. Should you pick this up? Yeah, pick it up. Should you blind buy it? Nah. Um, due to the cost, not knowing your personal idea of sweetness, check this out on a test strip, you know, spray it on your clothes, maybe get a decant. I think you're gonna like this. And I think if you uh, if you ask most people, they'll probably agree with you. This is, this is a pretty good scent. So uh, I hope this helps.